Ukraine is the regional leader in education from before the 1919. Sheikh Mohammed bin Issa al Khalifa says the next stage to create continuous prosperity independent of oil wealth, increase the size of our middle class and competitiveness, and give more of our people a real stake in the future. The same is extremely important for Russia. Russia of the 15th century. The time is out of joint. Diminishing culture and technology. To set it right is the mission of children. Casting the bell. Russia of the mid-20th century. The breakthrough in heavy industry, global decisions to transform nature, growth of the military superpower. Father Lev Semenov, the major constructor of magnetrons for Russian radars. Mother Yevgenia Semenova, the constructor of the CPU for the first Russian computer. Alexei Semenov studied and taught at specialized math schools where learning math was based on doing math. From 1975, Alexei Semenov worked at the Moscow State University and then at the Soviet Academy of Sciences. In 2006, he and his student Andrei Muchnik received the Kolmogorov's Prize of the Academy for the solution of a problem from Kolmogorov's complexity theory. An important feature of Alexei Semenov's personality is his ability to find and solve critical problems, both in his mathematical research and in education. Among the first decisions of Mikhail Gorbachev was informatization of school. Andrei Yashov, with Alexei Semenov and Anatoly Kushnirenko, organized a team to produce the first textbook on computer science and technology and software for the country. Evgeny Velikov, a nuclear physicist, personal advisor to Mikhail Gorbachev, started the school project with the help of Alexei Semenov. The time is out of joint. It was a chance to set it right for the next century in Russian education, research, production. Work in pilot schools and children clubs started. ICT was a part of general school transformation along with integration of language and math, hands-on environmental studies and jazz. Yevgeny Velikov picked us as mathematicians able to solve an unsolvable problem of radical modernization of Soviet school. It took one month for us to produce the course on computer science and technology. INT was started 20 years ago by Alexei Semenov. Today it is the leader of e-pedagogy developing the most advanced innovative ideas and solutions and supporting teachers all over the country. It produced hundreds of titles of software and literature for teachers and students. I see INT as really one of the prime examples anywhere in the world of this model of a kind of research direction that's more than research, that brings together elements that in the past have never been united. The Bulgarian experience of research group on education and possibility of reforms was inspirational for Semenov's team. The student handbook and the teacher's guide that are being used uh, in the uh, pilot tests uh, uh, that are now just underway in the United States with the start of the school year in September. Alexei Semenov and Boris Berenfeld, with Marilyn Schaffer, Robert Tinker and others, organized a series of invitational seminars on ICT and education. On the day of the coup in Moscow, the seminar started in Prague. Yeah, we usually we are the observers in events like this. We watch on television or we read. And maybe we try to... This, to me, was the most exciting and I'd say the best event. The decade of Alexei Semenov's work in the field was summarized in his plenary talk at UNESCO's Second World Congress on Education and Informatics. Computers, software and internet access do not change schools by themselves. In 1993, Alexei Semenov accepted the offer of Moscow Minister of Education Lubov Kezina to lead the 60 years old organization responsible for lifelong learning development and support of all Moscow teachers. Semenov became the rector of Moscow Institute of Open Education, modernized its work, extended its activities to all Russia and abroad, started educational research. The quarter-century work of Alexei Semenov resulted in the philosophy and implementation of sustainable, harmonious informatization 
as the model for digital school for knowledge-based society. The best instruments for children to construct their knowledge were built or adapted for Russia. Children can conduct their own virtual lab experiments or program and run real models of robots. The federal portal of tens of thousands of open learning resources was established. Internet is a natural environment for communication and collaboration of students. Using ICT is the effective way to quality education, social and professional life for many children who cannot visit ordinary school because of their health condition. Model-based learning management system, subject standards, norms, regulations and codes of behavior for digital school were developed. The digital school concept is being implemented in Moscow and other regions. The process of informatization continuously incorporates new ICT and uses them for student and teacher development in transparent and engaging school. The very idea of putting computers into schools was evident. What was done by Alexei Semenov is the strategic approach based on top-level expertise and broad vision of future and education. Alexei Semenov and his team developed a concept of new literacy integrating visual, graphical, verbal, literal, mathematical, logical, algorithmic literacies. Hundreds of books based on Alexei Semenov's work were published. Some of them were supported by UNESCO and are used in different countries. Alexei embraces all aspects of the ICT transformation of school, from fundamental science to political and organizational issues, and combines these in harmony. Alexei Semenov is unique in his ability to convince authorities and educate ministers. Alexei Semenov and his friends believe that to be a knowledge-based society is the only way for Russia to survive as a nation and a country. The family picture with Alexei's wife, six of their nine children and four out of six grandchildren. Yelena Bulin Sokolova, Alexei's wife, graduated from Moscow State University as a linguist and started teaching at school to work as a teacher. Today, she works with teachers as the director of the Center for Information Technologies and Learning Environments. Maria and her husband teach special kids. They started with mathematically gifted ones and now work with the handicapped. Maria writes textbooks for number one publisher in Russia. Daria is a musician. She and her husband work in a school for children with special needs. Mikhail studies economics at the university. Martha will be an artist. Anna is learning everything. Nikolai will be a scientist. Andre is starting his school. Ivan is very good at oral communication. These children are creating our future now. Oh, <laughs> oh,